Gear Handling Gear is the shared resource that volunteers use to create the radio experience that our community expects. Abusing gear can limit its use and cost the station money. Learning about gear handling is an important part of volunteering at the station. Cable Wrapping The three-pronged XLR connector cable is one of the most commonly used styles of audio cable. Primarily used for microphones and audio equipment, these cables are a regular fixture at a radio station. Many volunteers use these cables to connect digital recording devices to external microphones or setting up microphones for a live in-studio performance. Knowing how to properly wrap these cables is very important as a volunteer, DJ, engineer, musician, or whatever. This can prolong the life of the cable and sustain the sound quality, thus saving the station money and saving you technical problems on your program. The two most common ways to wrap cable the wrong way is either by wrapping it around your elbow, very wrong, or by holding the cable in your hand and looping it around and around with your dominant hand, also wrong. The problem with both of these methods is that they introduce continuous twists into the cable. Cables have a shielding used to reduce electrical interference. If you're constantly introducing twists to the cable, you begin to wear down the shield. Once you've destroyed the shield, it can't be fixed and the cable needs to be replaced. If you have any cables that will no longer stretch out flat on their own, these cables have been ruined by subjecting the wire to too many twists for too long of a period. If you're currently making this mistake, correct it now. It's never too late to start doing something the right way. Here is the correct way to wrap and store your cables. It's known as the over-under. Start by holding the female end of the cable in your non-dominant hand with the connector facing you. Two, use your dominant hand to grab a section of cable, then make one normal loop back up to your non-dominant hand. Three, next, grab the same length of cable with your dominant hand again. This time though, make a loop twisting the cable in an inverted direction while bringing it back to meet up with your non-dominant hand holding the loop. Four, follow this with a regular loop and then another inverted loop, repeating this process until the cable is wrapped up. Remember to twist one way and then the other and you'll be okay. Not only does this extend the life of your cable, when you unroll it, it will just spread out without any tangles. This saves time during setting up for a band, which can help a lot. Connectors. Keeping your connectors, plugs, and jacks clean is very important. Dirty connectors can cause crackles and shorts, and you can mistakenly believe that the cable is broken. Cleaning connections with compressed air can help with this. It is a good idea to unplug and plug your cables often. This keeps the contact surfaces fresh and will break up any oxidation that may build up. Microphones. It is also important never to stretch the ends of the cable. If you're connecting XLR cables to microphones on a stand, make sure you give enough slack at the end so the microphone isn't stretching the connection. Never pick up the microphone from the cable. Headphones. Like cables, headphones are also needlessly wrecked by poor wrapping skills. If you're wrapping a headphone cable, make sure there is enough slack from the cable feeding into the headphones. There should be a small loop so the connection doesn't get stretched out. To avoid stretching the connector, never pull the headphones out of a jack by its cord. Dressing and electric noise. The fewer things that run over, trip over, or land on top of your cables, the better. Dressing your cables simply means placing them neatly out of the way so they are not damaged or a hazard to performers. 